Team Kumul is confident they can bounce back in their second match against Samoa, despite recording a point loss against France. The one-point route has not shaken the team's focus as it aims to go as far as it can in the World Cup. The daunting task ahead, a well-executed game plan to take Samoa. Samoa no doubt will be in force after going down to defending champions New Zealand for the 224 in their first encounter. Samoa looks ripe for a picking. The Kumuls have the honors to do that, but yet it will be a crucial showdown for only one to walk away winners. Paul Eiton is back on field after a suspension by International Disciplinary Tribunal for Keller's eye tackle on French Morgan SK. Aiton will continue his duty against Samoa after he successfully appealed the one-match suspension handed down by an international match review panel. The tribunal lifted the suspension but imposed a formal caution which will remain on its disciplinary record for the duration of the tournament. So far, Australia defeated England 24-20, Fiji were the better side against Ireland 32-14 in Pool A. In Pool C, Tonga went down to Scotland 26-24, and in Pool C, D, Italy edged out Wales 32-16. Meanwhile, Team Kumul assistant coach Michael Marum was among 14 nations competing in the Rugby League World Cup who met the Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, at Clarence House. Rugby League World Cup 2013 tournament director Nigel Wood said this meeting cements the tournament's credibility and this World Cup securely within Great Britain's fabulous decade of sport. Terre Alex, True Guys Sports.